Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video if you like it, leave me some comments down below. So today we're gonna be doing a mukbang video. I got me a little seafood bowl. So we got some crab legs at the bottom, um, black mussels, corn, potatoes, and lobster tails is what we have to get day, you guys. Um, I used Beloved's Smackalicious Sauce and Mild. So I'm going to be trying that out for the first time today, you guys. My girl Beloved, shout out to my girl Beloved, you know. Hopefully one day she's going to let me come eat with her. I'll be watching all her videos. That's why she's my girl. That's why she's my girl. So I made the sauce on yesterday because it said to make it a day in advance for the best results. So I'm about to see what that's hitting for. You know, give my girl a little rating. And we're just going to get into it. Oh, I'm going to give y'all a little story time too while I'm eating. We're going to see how that goes, the whole talking and eating thing, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and dive on in, y'all. Let's show you start with a little potato. Um, start out with a little potato. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. Below. Below knew what she was doing, y'all. She did. My girl knew what it was sitting for. She really did. Uh, mm. Um, and y'all, I did not make this seafood. It came from Tasty Crab House in Florence. That's where I got the seafood from. I just made the sauce, okay? That's how you're doing all that. Yeah, dang, I'm making a mess. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I love me some seafood, y'all. Oh my god. Well, y'all, I guess I should try to get into this little story for y'all, huh? Oh, and before I forget, got my little lab rat water bottle. Y'all check them out. All information for this video will be left in the description box below. So I'm going to get into my little story time right there. It's okay, I'm going to tell y'all. Get 
spot. Okay. So, I'm going to tell y'all about the worst date that i ever been on. Right. Yeah. It probably ain't going to be as bad as y'all think. And y'all probably going to be like, girl, that's the worst date you've ever been on. But, yeah. It was. Because he tried it. And I don't know who he thought I was. Right plan. Wrong man. Mm-mm. He tried it. Let me just go ahead and put out this little disclaimer. I don't accept dates. I don't really nearly like that anymore, okay? I was young. I was an undergrad. And, you know, I didn't really used to turn down free food in those times. So, I met this guy just like randomly, y'all. It was so random. I met him in Dollar Tree. Um, while I was going to USC, I lived off campus in Columbia. So, so I mean, I'm at Dollar Tree. So, basically, what happened was, you know what I'm saying? He asked me out to eat. Did a little bit of talking, not too much talking. He asked me out to eat. That was the big part, okay? Because, see, I don't just be out here giving my number out, none of that. But when people <laughs> invite me to eat food, you might you might have me a little bit, okay? Just a tad, a little tad. You got me, you got me. So he asked me how to eat. Yeah, I know. I went turning down that free food. I was like, yeah, okay. Where we going? <laughs> When we going? So, I gave him my little number and whatnot. You know, we're supposed to meet up the little Applebee's. So, you know, in the meantime, because oh, it's all the same week. Yeah. So, meantime, you know, Doing a little technical talking a meantime in between time. So during this time. Mm. <laughs> during this time, I found out this young man ain't got no problem. Okay, y'all. Strike one. Because how you ask me on a date, but you can't come pick me up? Something wrong with that. Something very wrong. Priorities ain't right somewhere, but you know, that's neither here nor there. He didn't have a car. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm going to hang on a car, so he can't come get me. But at least I'm going to me some free food. So I'm going to go pick him up. So, time for the date come, you know, was Saturday, was Saturday night, or it was Friday night, I don't know, I can't really remember what day it was, I just know it was on the weekend, because with Applebee's, and they had, um, you know, they used to do those little specials at Applebee's. I'm really not that big on Applebee's food. I mostly only eat the appetizers. So, I ordered from the appetizer menu when we was there. But, anyway, we get the Applebee's. We get the Applebee's, you know, be chilling, talking, order our food, you know, all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure at this point, by the time we're at Applebee's, where he realizes that, you know, I'm just here for the free food. We ain't really got nothing in common. This ain't going nowhere. It was the food for me, you guys. It was the food. 
So, this is the part, you know what I'm saying, that really took me for a loop, okay? It really, it really got me. So, we're coming to the close of our meal, and he's like, can I pay for my own food? Excuse me? Can I do what? Yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what he asked me. Can I pay for my own food? Now, y'all, I did. I paid for it. I surely did. Thankfully, I did have my wallet because I'm good for, you know, not bringing nothing on a date. But because I had to drive, I did have my wallet, thankfully. And the reason why I never used to bring anything on dates prior to this one, because I don't do that anymore now, is because I expected the dude to pay. Yes, I expected. it. Because if you ask me out on a date, you ask me, you approach me, I didn't ask you. I feel like, yes, you took the initiative to ask me. You need to take the, the initiative to pay for the date. You need to take the initiative to come pick me up for the date. The entire planning of the date, everything surrounding the date is your responsibility. Because you asked me. I didn't ask you. And so, this is a little, this is a little tip for my guys, okay? A little tip for you guys. If you're not prepared for the date, don't ask the girl out on the date. Okay? Don't just assume... You need to make sure you're prepared, okay? If you don't have a car, and, and I'm going I'm to I'm put an age limit on this one, okay? If you are 21 and older, because by 21, you could have had a job at 16, you could have been working, saving money. So by 21, if you don't have your own vehicle, and you're out here trying to date people, I'm going to need you to take a little second, just a little second, you know, it's, don't need to take long, just a little split second. Reevaluate your life, reevaluate your priorities, see what's really going on because y'all can't be out here asking folks out and don't have the means to ask folks out. It just, it doesn't work like that. And yeah, y'all, I felt some type of way because... I was looking forward to that free meal, okay? I already, listen, I already had to use up my little gas, you know what I'm saying? I'm in undergrad, I'm working, you know what I'm saying? I had to work. I, mm -mm. Listen, it's lovely. I don't people's stories who ain't got no debt coming out of food debt free. It ain't my story, okay? It's not it for me. I was working while I was in school. So I'm taking my little gas money. Coming to pick you up, driving us to Applebee's, the least you could do is pay. That's the least you could have done. So, y'all know. Well, if you don't know, I'm about to tell y'all. I got home, y'all, from that day. I kid you not instantly as soon as I got home. Y'all hear me? Instantly, when I hit the door. Block. Sure did. Sure did block him. Yes. Yes, I did. A few weeks after that, y'all, ran into him in that same Dollar Tree. I mean, some of y'all probably like, dang, I would have went to a different Dollar Tree. No. I'm not going out of my way. That Dollar Tree was close to my house. I'm not wasting more gas to go out of my way trying to avoid him. He should have been trying to avoid me. So, ran into him in that same Dollar Tree, y'all. Do you know? Do y'all know? I'm going to tell y'all. Won't nobody exaggerating when they was talking about all this audacity. All this audacity that you guys be having. They wasn't exaggerating. Because this man really had the audacity to approach me again. You know what I'm saying? Because not enough time had went by for him to forget who I was. 
had the audacity to approach me again. Don't ask me what's wrong with my phone because he been trying to hit me up. I said, oh, it's nothing wrong with my phone. I blocked you. What? Why would you block me? I don't understand. What did I do? Why did you block? The fact that you don't know why you're blocked is the reason why you're blocked. You shall remain blocked. Y'all paid for my little items and got up out of Dollar Tree. He tried it. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know who he thought I was. I don't know. I don't know who he thought he was. I don't know. All I know is, right plan, wrong man. Mm -mm. You ain't it for me, Pa. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, and I'm just tell y'all, you know, I was a little cheap because that never happened to me before. Like, you know, ain't nobody made me pay for that on no date. Mm -mm. I don't ask people on dates. I said I don't ask people on dates. They be asking me. So don't be asking me somewhere you can't afford to take me. Or got no way to take me. Mm -mm. It's a no. Take it how you want to. Say what you want to about me. It's a no. Mm-mm. Y'all, I had a little meal plan when I was living off campus. Let me tell y'all, the girl been hungry. I was, I was excited for that free food. I was, I was, I was excited. Broke my little heart, hurt my little feelings, bumped me. Yeah, my little expectation. Mm. Mm. Just know. <laughs> He might have said bump me with paying that tab. I, I said bump him and put him on a block list. And that's one thing about it, ladies. I'll be out here worried about the wrong thing. Well, I'm going to give him my number. Girl. This is why Apple invented the block list. This is why. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not out here just giving my number out to everybody either. Like, I am cautious about who I give my number out to. But when somebody says something that bothers from free food, back in those times, I mean, because now, you know, I can get my own food. I ain't got to worry about it if I got a meal plan or not. I'm a grown woman. But back then, free food? Oh, child? Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm here for the food. I'm here to eat. So, you know, you live and you learn. It only happens to me once. Y'all tell me about y'all worst date. What people done did to y'all like him. Hmm. What they done did? Leave me some comments below about your worst date ever. What did you do to overcome? How did you keep your motivation? To keep dating after people done tried you like that. How? But me, you know, I was young. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Back then, because I was young, what the big deal was was about my money. Because y'all, listen, like I said, I was working, I was in school. I did not play about my money. Still don't play about my money, baby. Mm mm. That's a surefire way <laughs> to get on my bad side. Messing with my coins. I don't play it. Mm -mm. Try again. But yeah. Y'all, yeah, this food really good. This sauce good. For real. Like, beloved, my girl. Mm. Yeah, I did yourself on the sauce, boo. You did. You let me clean with you, girl. 
I hope you whip up little seafood because I do know how to cook it. I just didn't cook this. I hope you whip it up, you know, whip up a little sauce and I don't know how to cook it, you know. Mm hmm I can be lazy, girl. I can be clean up. All that. All that. I ain't just trying to come eat and leave, you know. I ain't trying to do that. I got you. I got you. So, you know, hit me up. I'm going to hit you up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit you up. My first time eating like the sauce like this, like well. It wasn't a little sauce, but it was, you know, the butter sauce. With, like, the seafood in the bag. I was in Savannah, y'all, at the Big Juicy Seafood. So, you can only imagine how happy I was to find out that Tasty Crowd House in Florence is owned by the same people as the Big Juicy Seafood in Savannah. The girl was hype, y'all. It was. Was hype. Love it. I'm like, you know, God, you always look out for me like you never fail me. Never. You never fail me. Like, literally, he do things that I need without me even having to ask him or tell him that I need it. Because, y'all, I needed that crab house in Florence. I did. I was tired of driving all the way to Columbia. Excuse me. Mm. I was tired of having all the way to Columbia to get me some seafood. I needed that. Yes, I did. I needed it. Especially, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't realize, like, after you come from a place like Georgia, I'm going to tell y'all, Georgia, the best food, y'all. That state got some good food. Mm -hmm. Nobody said mm. ninety nine point nine percent of the places that I ate in Georgia been finger looking good, baby. Finger looking good. They don't have. Mm -mm, I don't know what they doing down there. I don't know what they teaching these people to put in this food. But baby, I'm a damn. Those people know how to cook. They got some good food. Y'all, y'all not gonna eat all this food. Not in this video anyway, but guess what? <laughs> it's gonna get ate. <laughs> so, I'm gonna, you know. trash bag so y'all have a nice day enjoy the rest of y'all saturday you know peace love happiness